Okay, I don't mean you. This isn't directed at you. For all I know, you're getting better at guitar every day, which is great. But if you or you feel like you're stuck in neutral and you're not getting better at guitar at all, here are 10 reasons why that might be so. And unlike other lists you may find on this topic, I'm actually going to provide solutions on how to break these habits and issues. Also, a quick aside, I have just made a massive update to Guitar Super System, which is an excellent learning platform for those of you who want to improve your guitar skills. There's a link down below. Use the code SPRING to sign up for just five bucks for your first month. The sale is gonna end on Friday, and as I mentioned, there is a ton of new material to explore in the music theory section, as well as updated videos and some new tips, tricks, and licks. I'm also gonna be giving away another brand new guitar to one of my Guitar Super System students next month, so there's another incentive to sign up. See you there, thank you for your support. Now let's get started with 10 reasons why you're not getting better at guitar. Reason number one, you don't practice. There are so many useless activities to waste your time on, like posting a long rant on a YouTube video that's two years old with 2,000 comments already on it, or playing bass. In all seriousness, this boring but obvious point has to be included first on this list because despite what that meathead in your Facebook feed tells you, there is no six minute ab workout to make you have a six pack, and there is no five minute guitar exercise to make you shred like Jason Becker. You get out what you put in have a practice routine and stick to it. There's a video on my channel called The Ultimate Guitar Practice Routine. Go watch that if you need some guidance. The hardest thing I know how to do is practice. The skill of practice is one that is underappreciated and cannot be overvalued. Reason number two why you're not getting better at guitar, you play the same thing over and 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 over. Trust me, we all fall into this trap at one point or another. It's because it's easy, it's comfortable. You know that one friend you have that just keeps getting back together with their ex even though all their friends know it's a terrible idea because their ex has cheated on them, smashed their guitars, berated their guitar skills, and plays bass? Your stupid friend does this because even though it's not the best situation, it's easier to go back to a relationship they've already spent time working on than to build a new relationship and start something brand new. Well, the same is true about guitar. Learning new material can be challenging and the temptation to just stick with what you know is always there. But tell me something, when was the last time you did learn something new? A new solo or a new lick that you just really, really liked? Started playing it over and over again because it was so awesome. Wasn't that like the best feeling? I challenge you to learn your favorite lick from your favorite guitar solo. If it's hard, work on it until it's not hard. One of my favorite quotes is, the master has failed more times than the student has tried. Reason number three, you restrict yourself to one style of guitar playing. Are you a metalhead, indie kid, blues dad, someone who wears socks with sandals and loves bebop jazz? Do yourself a favor and listen to something new. It will broaden your horizons and will impact your guitar playing more than you would expect. Here are 10 albums that anybody would do well to listen to in 10 different genres. For metal, Symphony X, The Odyssey. For jazz, John Schofield, This Meets That. For rap, Jay-Z, The Dynasty. For indie, Wilco, Sky Blue Sky. For rock, Breaking Benjamin, Phobia. For blues, B.B. King, Live at the Regal. For electronic, Son, Renin. For alternative, White Reaper, You Deserve Love. For pop, Eve Six, Eve Six. For country, Brad Paisley, Play. Reason number four, you're late or early. You're just not on time. Think about the last time you played along with anything other than yourself. Rhythm is the most important element of music, and it's easily overlooked in your practice and development as a musician. Get a metronome, hunt down and trap a drummer, I've heard they're attracted by cotton candy and flashy lights, or simply put on a backing track of just drums. Whatever you do, practice your rhythm. Playing in time is the difference between a great guitar player and a guitar player who's going to spend their musical life alone. Which leads me to the next reason you're not getting better at guitar. Reason number five, you never leave your bedroom. Now I know what you're thinking, Tyler, you don't play in a band. You're right, I have to work on this too. 
I will say that I've been playing live music since I was 15 years old and have more than my fair share of stage time under my belt. There's nothing quite like getting together and jamming with a bunch of people. It helps you learn about dynamics and performance and where you fit into a mix and the overall band feel, how to play music with other people. Again, rhythm is important here and developing your musicianship can happen very quickly if you play a lot of live shows. This is why the Beatles were such an awesome band. They started in Hamburg and played thousands and thousands of hours of live music. That's why they were so tight and so good as musicians. Playing live music is a ton of fun and I cannot recommend it enough. It doesn't matter what skill level you are, go out to that open mic night or start a garage band with your friends. Reason number six, you disrespect your instrument. When was the last time you changed your strings? Cleaned your fretboard? Is there a buzzing sound on your fret? Some string noise? Is there a crackling sound when you turn the tone pot? Look, I know spending time and money on something that you just want to work, do its job, can be kind of annoying, but I guarantee any and all the things that I mentioned are things that are going to make your guitar easier to play and make it more rewarding when you do play it. Just take your guitar to the local guitar shop and have it set up. You'll thank me later. Reason number seven, you have some bad habits. Do me a favor, if you can right now, play the guitar for 10 seconds. Three, two, one, go. Okay, be honest. How hunched over are you right now? Sit up straight. Try playing a little more now. Doesn't that feel better? This goes for all the little things. Stretching out your hands before and after you play and breathing while you play fast passages and having loose wrist tension. I actually like to wash my hands under warm water and that kind of gives them a little massage before I start playing. It really warms up the muscles. These are little things that will extend your playing career and make you more comfortable as you play. Reason number eight, you're not getting better at guitar. You think you can buy your skills. You think it's all about the gear. Now I know that's kind of ironic coming from a guy standing in front of a wall of guitars and I did make a video called why you need expensive gear, but I started that video by saying you don't. You don't need expensive guitars and gear. The point is yes, expensive gear and high quality gear is fun to covet and collect, but in the end, if you can't play cleanly on a Squire, you can't play cleanly on a Les Paul. And you also won't enjoy the subtleties of what makes gear expensive if your skills aren't that developed. It's sort of like if your grandma got a $50,000 custom gaming computer and all she did was go on Internet Explorer. Look, don't skimp on your gear if you can, but it's not going to solve any of your playing problems either. Reason number nine, not knowing that you're not as good as you could be. This one's important because it drives you to become a better guitar player. You have to be honest with yourself. Playing the guitar isn't like a regular job where you have a boss who's measuring your output and your performance and putting pressure on you to do better. You have to be accountable, nobody else is watching. Did you really play that alternate picking exercise cleanly? Maybe you should dial the metronome back about 10 BPM. Little things like this are what facilitate true progress. Once you start to be honest with yourself, you will make bigger strides than you ever have before. I promise. And the 10th and final reason why you're not getting better at guitar, I don't know. It's unique to you. I invite you to leave a comment why you think you're not getting better at guitar, or why you think somebody else could be hung up. Maybe it's something that you conquered and you have some advice for us. Please, please, please post a comment down below. This is why I love the YouTube community and you guys in particular who subscribe to my channel. There are so many smart and accomplished guitar players willing to share information with one another. And I think that's what we should do. Leave a comment down below. Help your fellow guitar players out. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for your support. Remember, check out Guitar Super System if you need a little bolster for your guitar practice. There is a coupon code SPRING that you can use to sign up for just five bucks. 
for your first month. Again, I appreciate your viewership and I'll see you in the next video. Until then, keep shredding.